In the previous video, we learned that if you have a mole of something, you have Avogadro's number of those things. One mole is equivalent to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 of those particles. So how many atoms are in 2.35 moles of carbon? This brings us back to the conversions done in chapter two. We know that one mole is equivalent to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms which means I can write that equivalence in one of two ways. I could say there is one mole for every 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms, or there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms for every one mole. And you can use either of those as a conversion factor. In this question, we're given 2.35 moles of carbon and we want to know how many atoms there are. I'm going to choose a conversion factor that cancels out the moles. So I'm going to put 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms all over one mole. And I want to show the really time-saving way that chemists abbreviate the word mole. They write M-O-L instead of M-O-L-E. You're welcome, that'll save you lots and lots of carpal tunnel in the future. Anyway, we can check our work by canceling out these units just like we did in our conversions in chapter two. And so all you have to do is take 2.35 and multiply it by Avogadro's number. And when you do that, you get 1.415. There's three sig figs in my data, so there should be three sig figs in my answer. So I'm gonna say 1.42, then I can't forget the powers of 10, times 10 to the 24 atoms. Let's try another one. Just like you can have half a dozen of something, you can have a fraction of moles of something. So if I have 0 0.820 moles of copper, let's find out how many atoms are present there. We're going to do the exact same process we did with the last problem. We're going to start with the concept that one mole is equivalent to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms and I could write one mole over 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms, or 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms over one mole. In this problem, I'm starting with 0 0.820 moles of copper, and I'm gonna use the same conversion factor we did before. I'm gonna say there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms for every one mole. The moles cancel out, and I'm left with 4.94 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. And this should make sense, because I have less than one mole, and one mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23, and so I have a little bit less, so the numbers actually match my expectation. Now let's try one in the other direction. Let's say I'm given 7.11 times 10 to the 24 atoms of magnesium, and I would like to know how many moles are present. We're still using that fundamental definition of a mole. One mole is equivalent to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms. And we can write these conversion factors again, one mole over 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms, or 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms for every one mole. Here, I'm given 7.11 times 10 to the 24 atoms of magnesium. Now, I don't want to use the same conversion factor I used in the previous one, because I want to cancel out the atoms. So I want to make sure atoms go on the bottom. So I'm going to flip this and put one mole over 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms. And that way, I can cancel out my atoms, and I'll be left in moles, which is what I want. And when I do that, I end up getting 11.8 moles of magnesium.